Thank you for turning to 10, your news leader. 10 News Conference with Gene Valicenti continues right now. Regretfully, Sam knows very little about the homeless. I've never seen him involved in feeding the homeless, helping to bring clothing to them. He parachutes in to talk to homeless outside of his office, and that's services. I have no idea what he's talking about. These are Am human be beings that I'm dealing with every day. I'm, is, I'm not parachuting. We want, we want I'm spirited. Up, I'm going to we, we want spirited. Come but on, let's, Sam, let's let everybody speak. Well, that was the last time that the <laughs> Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan was in for the, uh, for the debate that we had, a spirited debate, I think. Is what the, what we called it, Mayor. Welcome back. You are you are the victor. Uh, it went I, well. I would hold your hand up like a boxer because <laughs> that was a boxing match. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back. That was some debate you two had. No, it was a good debate. Uh, yeah. a lot of a lot of well, different. I think ideas. it was spirited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I worked in high school for a long time, so right. that went on with students every day, with parents, with staff. It was not that. It wasn't that bad. It right. was. Uh, it was a campaign. It got a little bit testy, but we're fine. Well, you two know each other. You go back a while yeah. there. Yep. In, yep. Uh, well, you beat Paul Sutty, you're coming back, and boy, they seem to like you in Fall River. Congratulations. Yeah. The, over Fall and over again now a few times. Fall River's been great to me. I have no complaints. Viva Fall River, as the song goes. <laughs> Viva <laughs> Fall it. River. Now, uh, Mayor, you, you came over the bridge this morning to see right. me in, in Rhode Island. How was, the, how was your passing? Perfect. There was no trouble whatsoever. We didn't yeah. slow down. I, I was... It was like it wasn't even down. Right. I have. I remember the last time I came, I went to a show at PPAC, and that was weaving through the neighborhoods of East Providence and down someone's driveway okay. and through a hedge. But we made it fine You're today. Looking for real estate investments <laughs> in Rhode Island, was. I guess. Yeah. Now you and I are taping at 10:25 on a Friday morning, so you crossed the bridge. What about 25 half an hour ago? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and not no nothing, problems. Nothing. Were you concerned that there would be problems that would impact your city because you're right over there oh, and all the Cape Cod traffic? Plus, we have a lot of people that, yeah. work, that live in Rhode Island that work in Fall River. Okay, um, we have a lot of people in Government Center from uh, our finance offices from Warwick. Uh, one of our uh, EMT lieutenants or captains from right. Cranston. So we have people making that commute every day. I was very worried. Yeah, and well, what was the resolution? Did you talk to any Rhode Island politicians? Or no, you just, no, no. You no. get we, the news I, as it comes yeah, in with us. We get the news as it comes in, and uh, okay. we've made some modifications if we had to for them, but that's that was a... Uh, that was quite a blow for Rhode Island. Yeah, are you concerned about the Cape traffic? And now the Cape is further away from you, but you depend on those people to stop in your city and have a bite to eat, or maybe, I know those outlet signs, you try to attract them to come in and buy something in my city, yeah. right? Well, absolutely, we try. We, we take five off of 195, yeah. was a campaign we ran to get people to get off the highway, and we'll probably do something like that again this year. Yeah. But we'll be fine. We're so, gonna work our way through it, it's just, a, a catastrophe. Well, it is what it is. Yep. Now, you know, uh, you, you, well, not you, but your state gave Rhode Islanders a fright. U.S. Secretary of Transportation uh, was talking about border tolls. <laughs> Did you hear this? Yeah, I did. You must have heard that. I thought it was mostly North Gene towards New right. Hampshire. They weren't doing it in Rhode Island, were they? Well, border is the border. Here's yeah, I, the border. Know, I, know, we, I had I, to ask Senate President Ruggiero about this. Are we going to retaliate? What did he say? Well, he said, well, I don't want to talk about that right now because we don't pretty, want to talk about tolls. I think it's a dead issue. They, yeah. they look like they killed it. It yeah. is a dead issue, but were you a little taken aback when you heard that? Yeah, I was like, wow, this is different. But, yep. you know, the way they're looking for money nowadays, they'll try to do anything. Yeah. Did you have a conversation with the governor about no, that? No, I, pr I talked to one of the reps, they're pretty sure that wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, but well, she frightened a lot of people with that, but <laughs> you're right. The governor assured us it's a dead issue. Yeah. Now, you know what? I, I, at one point, I would have said that commuter rail uh, down to Bristol County from Boston is a dead issue, but I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And they're laying the tracks and they're building it, but there's been another delay. Now, I've, I've mm -hmm. said I'm not going to retire and, and move to Florida until that railroad is in because I want to see it. Uh, is it going to happen then? Yeah, I, it, they're running test trains now. Uh, the problem seems to be further up the line than us in Taunton. There's yeah. trouble with one of the stations. I'm pretty sure Fall River is 99% complete. Yeah. We got our station to go. We have our bridge on Weaver Street that was kind of a little slow to be built. Yeah. But other than that, we're, we're in good shape. I'm, I'm ready to tr uh, take a ride. You're ready to take one yourself. Now, yeah. has that helped your real estate uh, picture in Fall River? Well, you, could become a, you could become a commuter place. Right. Our real estate was going up so fast anyway mm -hmm. before it even hit, and uh, we're, we're kind of leveled off a little bit now, but it's uh, it's probably going to help us down the road, especially, yeah. you know, with the people that want to rent apartments. A lot of our mills are being rehabbed right now into mm -hmm. uh, market-rate yeah. apartments, so it's 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 probably going to help us long-term for sure. I, I don't know if you happen to know this. What's the average price of a home in your city? Do you happen to know? I want to say around four or five hundred thousand dollars. Four or five hundred? Yeah. Okay. And you've got some nice neighborhoods too, you know. We have some real nice neighborhoods. Yeah, you do. In Fall River right now, you drive around Fall River, every neighborhood, there's houses being renovated, there's 
construction going on. Yeah. We're in a, we're still in a surge. Um, I don't know how long. I mean, a three family in Fall River now seven hundred thousand mm, dollars. That was when I was a kid. It was a hundred. You mean the triple deckers? Yeah. That line the streets. Mm -hmm. They're going for seven. Yeah. Well, it, that's a turnaround. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Are you, do, do you think that's positive? Because sometimes we hear people complaining that, well, this is going to be gentrification. Yeah. The people who live there now can't afford to pay the rent, but $700,000 a triple decker. What do you say? That's the downside. Yeah. That's the downside. But what, what it also says is that people want to live here. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to pay for uh, six or $700,000 for a uh, three family on Danforth Street, yeah. then there must be some value to the property and value in the city. That yeah. means people think it's. Hopefully it's a safe place to live, put their kids in schools, and live. And that's what we're looking for. And people are moving down. We, we had a conversation yesterday. I was in the Commonwealth Landing where Barrett's is right on the waterfront. First mill renovation, completely full, commercial completely full. The other two units they built, one mm -hmm. downtown, both full. And a lot of out-of-towners moving in. I said, what's your percentage like? She goes, those other two buildings are yeah. almost all out-of-towners. So that's new money to the city, which is good. Well, when that train comes... And, and that's, that's going to be a big deal. That's going to be a real, going to be a real commuter stop up yep. to Boston. And people are going to be coming down, I guess, to buy a house a little cheaper than they can in Boston. Listen, that's positive, good. But there's also attendant problems that haven't been able to be solved yet. You have a homeless problem, right? You've got an encampment. That came up in the debate, Mayor. Where do we stand with that? Uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, myself and Community Development Director Mike Dion, we toured three camps where we're having a little bit of trouble. Um, the state, they're, they're not even on far of a land, these are on no. state land. Okay. But um, the state is not happy with the conditions of those camps. They were in there yesterday morning touring them. They're going to clean those out. Yeah. Uh, so we worked with our advocates and our FAST team and our homeless providers to, to give them a plan if they're moved out of there. We can, if we can get them into treatment, we'll get them into treatment, we'll get them a step down, and we'll put them in a sober house. So that plan's coming together right as we speak, Gene. This is all going on since yesterday afternoon. So as you and I tape on a Friday, right. you are cleaning out three homeless encampments. The date hasn't been set yet. We don't want to give people, hey, we're coming in the oh, morning. Okay. We right, want to yeah. give them a transition period. But within the next two or three weeks, those are going to be cleaned out. Where are they going to go? Uh, as I just said, we, we expect to get a lot of them. One of the camps Well, I meant the ho hotels immediately. Where, where can you tell the guy, listen, i got to get you out of here. You're going here. Well, we're hoping that we do have some more beds in our uh, homeless yeah. shelters. We still have shelters. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we want people to know that if they want to get help, we're going to provide okay. them with the resources. All right. So that's really a story for next week. We, yeah. have, we have to keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Uh, crime is a persistent problem in any urban area. Right. Do you think you've made progress on that? I is, do. From time to time, you, you're on the news a lot. No, we're on the news. You know what it is, though, Gene? But you, I mean, you are, let's be fair, shooting, stabbing. I mean, I read the news every night. <laughs> not being fair. Um, you look at what goes on in Fall no, River. Wait, how know. am I not being fair? I got well, the go stab get all the let's, stories. Let's go, go the let's go to go the stabbing. Yeah. The stabbing was a homeless house placed on us by a, um, a vendor out of Boston. Okay. No, no resident, no connection, no, no anything to Fall River other than it happened here. Okay. Those people... We walked in blind to that, um, and the woman that runs the St. Francis House in Boston has been down for a couple of meetings. We yep. didn't know it was a homeless house, shelter, and they were putting people in there that had criminal records, yep. spotty backgrounds. No one knows. The two roommates thrown together by a, a, a homeless center, right. don't know each other, have a fight, one stabs the other. That's a Fall River problem. I mean, its location is, yeah. but I don't really know about if, if we deserve that one. The other one, the young man killed on the street, that was ours. Yeah. We deserve that, but we did not deserve the other one. Well, are you mad that we report it? Absolutely not. You you have yeah, to I report mean, it. You tell me. No, no, I really no, want to be saying, fair. I like no, your no, city. No, no, yeah. no. no yeah. But when, what I'm saying is when you take your lumps, yeah. there's degrees of lumps you take. And I think that the ones we own, we own. Okay. But some of them dropped in out of the blue. You're like, what, what just happened right. to us? Well, see, but we'll take our statistics for it. Get, don't get me wrong, but I don't mind. I, I don't. I, I mind when people think that those are people from our city. Okay. Uh, education. You were a longtime school teacher. Absolutely. Tell me about the progress in education. We've got about another minute to go. Okay. We're doing. We're doing really well in education. We do have a little hiccup right now. We need a new superintendent. Yeah. The search is going on. Um, look at the high school. We've got one of the best dual enrollment programs in Massachusetts. We're mm -hmm. partnered with three schools, UMass, Dartmouth, Bridgewater, Bristol Community College. Our students that go to Durfee get to go to those schools and take free classes, which count as AP courses towards their placement mm -hmm. in a college down the road. We have, that, we have that set up, and people come from other communities to see our program right. and what we're doing. Our elementary schools 
all the facilities are top shelf. We need to improve our attendance. Our curriculum has to be strengthened and our test scores. But these are battles that, we're, that we bought into and we're willing to fight. Take 30 seconds, give me the pitch. Why should we come to your city? I know about the restaurants on Columbia <laughs> Street. You've told me about other places. Why do you want me to come there? I want you to come there because Fall River is in a turnaround right now. For the last four or five years, we've been doing things that should be done. The government's running smoothly. Um, I, crime statistics overall are down okay. over 20%. Our schools, we have all new buildings. Our parks look great. Um, there is opportunities with jobs. You drive through the yep. industrial park, there's job signs all over. We want you to come to Fall River and make your home here and join us. Well, listen, I think you're poised for something. If you're getting $700,000 for those triple deckers <laughs> and the train is coming, uh, I think I hope good things are, are ahead for Fall River. Uh, uh, we appreciate Gina. You're always fair, and I appreciate the coming over to talk to you. Good, and I hope you get over the bridge smoothly going back. Thanks <laughs> for coming you, if in. If you get a crank call from me, it's not good. All right, thanks, Gina. Nice to see you, you again, as always.